Yo. What is up? Suck it, mother lovers. This show scandalous give us so much life. We almost die. <laughs> How y'all doing? Suck it, mother lovers. Oh my gosh. First of all, happy Friday. Y'all know I got my little deep conditioning swag going on. No judgment, boos. Y'all don't know my life. Anyway, suck it, mother lovers. So I did skip last week because clearly I was on to the reality shows. <laughs> Ain't nothing like this show scandal. Like, I promise. I just hope that they just keep doing more shows like this because we just kind of, I love reality, but God, this show. Oh, my goodness gracious, Lord have mercy. It gives me life. Okay, so last episode, we know that Liv decided she was going back to work. They needed to figure out who shot them. But I'm not going to lie. Watching last episode, you know, when they were showing, you know, the life with Fitz, you know, and Liv, I was like, God, this feels so right, but it's so wrong because I know that they acted. I know that they acted, but it was something about their passion. I was like, y'all, they really in love with each other. Like, it was, I was like, this is wrong because I know that I do not condone in the married thing and all that stuff, but I, it was just that passion. It was like, dang, I wish I could be together, but clearly we know it ain't a perfect world. But when she came and gave the, um, I mean, when, um, uh, when the wife, I can't think of her name to save my life right now, but when she came and she pretty much um, approached Liv and was like, yeah, we got this little triangle, so you do your job, I will do mine. I was like, I'm not really sure if I'd be able to be okay with that, but I guess that's kind of what these women that are up there with these men have to deal with. I'm, I'm cool. So as I'm watching this, you know, uh, show last night, I'm like, oh, I'm about to figure it out. I want to figure out who killed Fitz. Now, my first idea was that the man I can't think of his name but you know the man that talk all this and he actually told the guy that you better get your wife when it was really his husband y'all know exactly who I'm talking about now when that man I, it was just something it's something fishy about him like I really feel like it ain't nothing for him to hire you know a assassin to you know kill the president why not like he ain't getting what he want you know what off with your head if he'll go around killing seven people and then you know framing this girl he don't even know like why not like and that's another thing like she started Quinn Quinn is making me real nervous like I don't know what she up to but she just acting real weird I know she's upset because she found out they didn't kidnap her and all that good stuff but sit down somewhere like I, I mean I don't know I, I'm nervous I, I don't trust her right now I don't trust her Oh, let me tell you something. I ain't like the vice president when she was the vice president, but I was really mad at her for strong going with him. Like, I honestly felt like this was happening in real life, and I was upset. Like, I almost, thought, you know, started catching a uh, tip of tantrum, too. Like, you are not the president. He is not an up room. Yeah, you can't do this, lady. But it just made me mad. Like, her whole aura, like, oh, I don't like her. I know that some of y'all are with me. When Hawk was standing over uh, Columbus Short, and he was asleep, and he was like, The man that they're looking for, that killed the president, that tried to assassinate the president, it's me. Man, I'd have shit by two bricks and a lump of something out my buttocks. Like, I'm sorry. Is there something I can do for you? Do you need me to help you hide a body? I'm Because I feel like I need to be on your team so I'm not in the other team and trying to head to the upper room. I ain't going to be able to do it. Y'all know what I'm really com uh, curious about? I'm wondering if Liv would, will ever reveal that she was a president boo. I mean, clearly a lot of them already know. I think Hawk knows because that little comment he made to her when he was deciding that he was going to go be with his boo. I was like, uh, Liv, I think he knows. But I mean, he trained to know, so... Becky, room 807. Let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all sucking mother lovers said a couple of episodes ago that y'all didn't trust Becky. And I was like, I don't know. But it was something weird about her because she was really pressing Hawk. And, like, we never found out anything about her. And then when he took pictures of her credit cards, I was like, okay, he about to find out something. But I think y'all know how some of y'all men, y'all forget. Y'all start thinking with the wrong head and stuff. And look, you look what didn't happen. You done walked into a room and somebody's getting shot in the head and you don't know what to do. And I'm like, but the thing is, I'm going to say this right now so I can go on the record when it comes out. I know. Remember he said that it was a shell casing that was missing? So I'm sure that if they find that shell casing, it would tie back to that girl. That's what my assumption is because something has to be linked back to this Becky. I like to punch her in her face, but she's a good character. Her bad attitude, though, and just a bad girl. I was like, yeah, I don't really appreciate you setting up Hawk, though. How this show gonna give me life in five minutes? The first five minutes, I like, I was out of breath. Like, I was it was I the only one that was getting lightheaded because I was forgetting to breathe? Like, I was like, oh, sh like I was like that into this show. Like, oh my goodness gracious! Oh, I love this show. I wish I could be an extra on this show.
When I was look, listening to like how much like Liv was going through, like at one point, like she was sitting up there talking to Hawk, so she pretty much is concealing the person that they're looking for and then going, you know, being at the White House and doing all this. It's just like, do you know how much the real Olivia Pope or people in her position know? Like, I, that would drive me crazy. I would not be able, I'm like, look, somebody, I got to sing like a bird. Y'all can just shoot me because I can't, I cannot. The way my life's set up, I can't do this. Ooh, so that tea is finally spilled that James did not go visit his mom and his daddy and um wherever they live or whatever. And I was like, oh, Lord. I said, cl clearly, we already knew he was not going to think nothing like that. He was going to go straight to, <laughs> he cheated on me. And I was like, I mean, I would think the same thing. Like, oh, my God, what? who is this? Who is it? I need to know. Like, I, I would think the same thing. Verna Thornton name was being thrown around too much. Verna Thornton is the woman with the, uh, the uh, cancer right now. They coming for her because her name was just being thrown around too much. Even Quinn was like, yeah, uh-huh, you was in Verna's plane. I'm talking about, Verna, you got a plane? You balling like that? Is it on 22s? Oh, my God. When Abby was looking at the footage of Becky, I was like, oh, shit. Hawk, your girl ain't no good. She ain't no good. But Hawk was still like, no, no, Becky wouldn't do this to me. She would never do this to me. She loves me. Uh, Hawk, she love you and she did it to you. I, I, right now, I just really can't think of Columbus short, uh, character name, but Columbus was like, hey, like, you gonna have to go through me and Hawkins was like, you do realize that I'm a licensed killer. Now, if that situation was me, that whole scene would have went a whole lot differently. If I'd have gotten somebody's way, cause you know, I think I'm hard and I got brothers, you know what I'm saying, they used to whoop my butt, you know what I'm saying, so I feel like it ain't too many people that can, I got hands, that's how I feel. But if somebody walks up to me and I'm like, hey, straight up, you going to go through me, and they tell me, you do realize I'm a licensed killer, I'm like, my bad, you know, I actually forgot that information, let me pivot to the right to get out your way so you can figure out what's going on, you know, did you need me to give you some gas money, you good, are we cool, we good, you remember that time I like did your homework for you, you know, when Liv had asked you to go kill somebody and I kind of like help you out the body, we good, right, we cool, oh, okay. I'm a smart gangster. Like, I, I don't test my gangsterism. Like, I know who to be gangster with. You know what I'm saying? Like, even before road rage, I make sure that I know who's in the car. And I make sure it's at least one to two heads. Because I feel like I can take on two people depending on the size of the people. But, you know, when I see three heads of a, a third head pop up, I'm like, you know what? Just bless you. Just may God have mercy on y'all souls. You know? <laughs> Everybody go real Catholic and real, you know, real heavenly when you feel like your life is in danger. That's terrible. That's terrible. Hallelujah. That dude is taking that team one by one. And that country guy, the one that just saying, y'all came for me, I'm going to come for y'all. When he was talking to Liv, did that doggone president, uh, vice president say what your homosexual loving? What, what that got to do with anything? You got a problem with homosexuals, lady? Oh, that's right. You all Jesus and Christ-like. Oh, okay. Girl, get out of here. I was like, she just going to strong arm her like that? Lady didn't even have time to put on her wig. She was just sitting up there sipping her tea with no wig on. It made me uncomfortable. I'm sorry, did somebody say medical marijuana pills? You might know where we can get them from. I mean, not for me, but you know, just for those people that may need them. Am I the only one that's curious to why Hawk watches that one family? Like, I was like, why does he just watch that family? But then I figured that Hawk, I feel like maybe he watches this family because that's his, like, dream. And so that's, like, his happiness and maybe that family kind of balances him to remain normal. So that was my assumption on why he was watching the family. But he he would just sit there and just smile. I wouldn't have ever brought Becky over there to see my family. Well, I don't know your, can I get your real name? I need to see baby pictures of you. You have shirts with your name on the back of it. I need to see that this is really your name. So Becky go, she want Hawk to run away with her. And I was really nervous because when Hawk went to visit Quinn, I was like, man, I mean, went to visit Liv, I was like, y'all, he gonna do it. He gonna go ahead on with Becky. Picket and got him, the nicket and hooked him. For a quick second, when Hawk was sitting in that house with all the pictures, I was like, okay, this can go real good, real bad. And I was like, okay, either Hawk is just really becoming an assassin and he's setting her up, or I don't know, but when they was doing it, he was like, I'll leave with you. You know, I was like, oh, Hawk, she didn't got you. But then when they showed that one part when he was getting up from her and he kind of had his eyes, how he always have them, you know, whatever, I was like, okay, he's back. He's back. He gonna do it. All right. He made me nervous, though. I guess he wanted to get the nook one last time. Did y'all see, uh, uh, what is his name? The older dude's face when he found out that his, uh, his husband had went to, uh, Defiance, Ohio. I was like, ooh, he, man, that man skedaddled so fast. He probably don't even remember that he can move that fast. 
when when Hawk was on the phone with a Columbus Shore character, I was like, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, this lady's a trained assassin. Like, do you really think using your phone is a good idea? Like, you should know out of all people not to use your phone. And by golly, towards the end of this episode, I saw that I was right. Am I the only one that kind of really got sad when they showed pictures of what could be in his obituary? I was like, uh, he can't go to the upper room. Like, there is no way. Like, you cannot. Come on. Like, that's half of the plot. You can't kill him. Not yet. Like, maybe in season eight or something like that. But you can't kill him in season two. It's, it's too soon. Too soon. Y'all know what? Cyrus is a straight up dog. Did he use the baby to get him? David was like, oh my God, yes. Yes, I said yes. He said, but you can't work no more. I said yes. They had him in the store showing the boobies. He's like, okay, so these are the nipples. I'm, yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so anyway, back to us. I'm about to give you some tea. I need you to hold on to this tea because I know what my man up to. I was like, ooh, man, this show is just scandalous. I swear. Ooh, y'all know it's going down whenever he finds out, right? I can't believe Becky went in there and straight murked that whole family. Like, I was like, like, I, 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 I know this show ain't real. But when that lady was leaning over her daughter and he was like going in there and then all of a sudden you just hear nothing but Hawk's voice, I was like, you done got this whole family killed. Even the dog, like, that was, that was a gruesome, sad scene. Like, I was like, boy, I hate Becky. I strongly dislike her. Y'all know what's going to be really messed up when Abby finds out that everything was a lie about her, her boyfriend it's it's just gonna be really really bad because if that girl comes back to say you know who brought her you know gave her the money and stuff it's going to be really really bad but y'all know why abby was slapping him she was trying to see his reaction because she's been with a man that beat her butt so she knows the reaction and i was just looking and i was like look like he ain't even moving he was like you can slap me again like Nothing's going to happen. And he just sat there just, I mean, it's bad because I really do want to see them together. But I'm like, God, and she just picked up her little skirt and went on and humped him and then left real fast. You can't just hump and leave. You ain't going to stay for coffee or nothing. No biscuit. You nasty. Did you wash your hands? That judge is something just terrible. She said, you want the red pill or the blue pill? What you going to pick? I stepped down. Oh, I can give you the name of that guy. I was like, oh, you wrong. See, in that whole little circle, they just about to crumble big time. Because when Liv found out what the judge did, this is all bad. And when they came and got Hawk, and they was like, we about to do our patriotic duty. I was like, I don't. that don't sound like jail to me. Something is about to be real bad. Baby, I was so happy that they not wait, making us wait like a whole season. It's just a winter. They letting us have time with our family and enjoy our great coupon. And then, bam, we going back into January 10th. And I am so excited. Like, I cannot wait. This show is, I swear, it's a great balance. Like, if you guys are watching me and y'all don't really watch the show, I promise I will give you guys a penny. Yes, I will take 45 cents to mail you a penny in the mail if you don't like the show. Okay, I, I, not the way my life is set up. Sometimes I have a couple, a lot of viewers. I can't do that because a thousand pennies, that's half of my salary. I can't do that. Y'all don't know my life. Mm -mm. Anyway, second little lovers, as always, this video is long enough. I know y'all going to be tuning in January 10th, just like me. Y'all have a happy, happy weekend. It's happy holidays, y'all. Christmas is almost here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I need to get somebody a gift. I'm about to get somebody a Glamour magazine. <laughs> Okay, so come on, lovers. As always, I'm about to be out and enjoy my day with my hair in this hat. I have no idea where that came from. I'm out. The license killer. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me step on out your way. <laughs>